Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magnus, and I welcome you guys back to part two of Let's Play Randomized Fire Emblem 7. Uh, we're gonna jump into chapter 12, uh, where we meet Hector and Boswin, and I'm looking forward to that. All right, so I think for this chapter, um, first of all, let's go get the secret book. And uh, I think I'm going to send Louise uh, over at the forge. I think she's gonna do quite well over there. Now, I do have a, uh, I think I'm gonna trade my Vulnerary over to Luis, maybe, possibly. But I do need to visit the, sh I, I, need, I need to visit the freaking uh, Armory over here, because I have a lot of Iron Weapons I need to buy. Let's equip the Thunder Tome. Let's place uh, Kanas right here on the Forge. Let's go down here with Bartra. Now, I do need to go up and clean up a lot of the enemies. Oh, that guy actually goes for Kanas. Interesting. Wow, the Light Brand does a lot of damage. Holy shit. It probably- it doesn't it target resistance in melee? I actually don't know, does it? That 19 damage seems like way too much damage for Kanas to do at this stage. Ah! Don't hurt my Luis. God damn it. But yeah, I think Luis, since I gave her the Draco shield, she should be able to tank that fort quite well. Hopefully. So, uh, let's place her on this fort right here. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, I definitely need to get myself an Iron Sword. I can't keep wasting my Armor Slayer on this shit. The Armor Slayer is probably going to be really useful when those tough knights show up. Let's go dance for Mr. Bartra. Lin's about to level up. That's good. Uh, what if we... Oh, I, the Light Brand really fucking sucks. What the hell? Why is it so bad? Let's just use the Worm Slayer, I suppose. Yeah, let's just use the Worm Slayer. I want to kill this guy. Ow. Alright, that works. And uh, we don't have any vulneraries, do we? We have one on Bartre. Bow, 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 you are dead. There we go. So yeah, everyone needs to go visit the armory and stock up on some equ on, my, uh, on some equipment right here. But I think we can... Uh, this guy will probably go for Kanas. He won't kill him, will he? Yeah, no, in 9 damage, he'll be fine. Ba -ba 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 so yeah, the mercenaries, they will start getting scary really quickly due to their high speed. Increasing their already high speed growth by 30% is gonna make them an absolute nightmare to deal with. So yeah, we get the secret book. Now, it's actually a very legit strategy to simply sell your secret book, as many people feel that um, two skill is not worth 5,000 gold. And I actually do agree with that. Uh, skill is arguably the weakest stun, after luck. And with that 5,000 gold, you can buy a lot of nice equipment, though. In Eliwood's story... Oh, wow, nice level up there, Kanas. In Eliwood's story, I don't feel like gold is that stingy. Um, so I think I will actually take the skill book, uh, as I might get some randomized units down the line that really could benefit from the skill. Alright, so we're gonna keep Luis at the forge. Um, I think we're gonna send everyone else up north, to be quite honest. So let's just do that. We can kill this guy with Renault. Oh my god, he one-shots the soldier. That's hilarious. That's really fucking cool. And we do need to clear up some of the soldiers. Oh, nice. He leveled strength. Of course he did. Um, there are... Uh, I don't know what Hector and Boss one way. They, they could be two bards for all, I, for all I know. So I do need to clear up as many enemies over there as possible. Alright, so let's go and buy Renault some uh, access. Let's just buy... Let's buy Tree Iron Axis. You never know. And we... I guess we can... Kite this soldier down. Let's uh, quaff a Vulnerary, just to, just to be safe. Same with Kanas. He does need to visit the shop later, so let's quaff a Vulnerary right here as well. I think I'll buy some Vulneraries with Marcus, actually. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, the boss! I, yeah, I haven't even checked out the thief. Uh, the, the boss is a thief. That is annoying. That means he will steal my vulnerary, so I gotta be careful. I gotta see if I can actually steal back from him. Go, Luis. So I'm gonna soften them up with the Thunder Tomes, and then finish them off with the Fire Tomes. That seems to be the best way. The boss is going coming to... Normally, the boss goes over the mountains and attacks you south from the south, but it looks like he'll be going north now. Maybe he moves differently on Elwood mode? I actually don't know. I think it depends on where you have your characters. 
But I know that the AI is quite different in the two routes. I know that in Hector's mode, the enemies move differently. They And there's also Pegasus Knights. There's a lot of Pegasus Knights on Hector's route, which is really annoying. Even though they're kind of bad, they're still annoying because they threaten your healers and such. Alright, so... Looks like we got a monk and a pirate. Let's check out who they are. Let's check out who they are. Oh, this is always so exciting. So, I think the right unit is Hector. And that's, that means Hector is a monk. And it's... <laughs> it's Wallace! Oh my god, and he goes with a perch dome! Alright, it's Wallace. Oh my god, those are not good stats. <laughs> those are not good stats at all! And it doesn't help that Wallace's growths are not the best either. 45% magic, 20% speed. Ah, this is not gonna end up being viable at all. I don't see how we can make Wallace a good unit. No, those bases are just too bad. I mean, luckily we are playing Hec uh, sorry, not Hector, we're playing Eliwood's route, so we don't actually need to field Hector in most of the maps, so I think we should be good benching him. <laughs> it's too bad, because uh, Wallace actually has the support with Lin as well, so we could we could have built a very quick and easy support. Yeah, this is not good, this is not gonna work at all, so sorry, you're benched. But let's take a look at the pirate, who will it be, who will it be, it's gonna be Hawkeye, oh my god! He comes with a Brave Axe and a Sword Reaver, that's insane! Oh. My. Fucking. God! <laughs> what?! A base defense of 15, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, what?! This guy is an absolute tank, holy shit! Of course, Hawkeye's growths aren't fantastic, he has 25% speed, but... Wow, look at those bases. 16 constitution and he hasn't even promoted yet. What the fuck, this guy's insane. And he has a very fast support with Luis, so we can build that early on. Holy shit. I wonder when Hawkeye promotes, is he going to retain his uh, his unique Berserker Sprite? Or is he going to, to, to get the generic one? I actually don't know, oh my god. Oh, what? Wow, he, he even looks really good. He looks really fucking cool. That is a really cool sprite, holy shit. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh... I guess we could just use up the emblem axe, shouldn't we? There's no point in saving it. I haven't checked if, if it has any hidden stats on it. Like, I don't know what if it gives more weapon experience or something. I should probably check that out. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Alright, level up, Lin is now level 4, hit points, speed, luck, resistance. That's that's a perfect dancer level as far as I'm concerned. Alright, uh, I think we should visit the shop with Bartra now. And we should probably just buy 3 iron swords. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Now we do wanna, I haven't even checked out the boss, let's check out the boss. He has a slim sword and locks pick, we definitely wanna steal that. Yeah, he's not too scary. Uh, this this guy is actually super scary in the original round as a fighter. He can one-shot a lot of your dudes because he comes with a steel axe and does like 30 damage. But he has 12 speed, which means that Kanas can steal his lockpick. That's good. That's really good. Uh, and I think we can definitely send the Renault up with the Emblem Axe to wreak havoc on these soldiers. We don't need to feed that many kills to Hawkeye because he's level 9. So he doesn't need the experience as much. Like, that's the thing about Oswin. He's sort of like a mini Jagan of sorts, uh, which is kind of cool. Because um, he comes at level 9, which is a lot higher than most other guys. And yeah, the Wind Sword and Lightbrand has to target resistance in melee. They do too much damage. Alright, uh, I think we are going to buy some Vulnerize. I think we're going to buy two Vulnerize, because since we don't know when we're going to get our first healer, we, we'll need all the Vulnerize we can get, pretty much. Alright, I think we'll keep the Thunder Tome here, actually. Louise is being an absolute boss on this fort right here. She is tanking all the brigands. She's gonna get so much experience. I love it. Bow. Nope! Nah, bitch. I wonder... Um, we have to compare Louise's bases with Pent. When she, when she reaches a level 6 Sage, I think that's when Pent joins as a level 6 Sage. We have to compare Luisa's bases with her husband's to see if she uh, she's as good as him. That would be cool. I think Luisa is not not anywhere near Pent normally, but you know, so maybe we'll get a blessed Luisa. I have given her two stat boosters already, though. So you know, but uh, her speed worries me, though. She she needs to level speed and fast. 
Let's see, the most beneficial thing would be to attack this guy immediately, so we can retaliate on enemy face and kill them both. Alright. Bra ba 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 ba. Hit points, magic, skill, defense, resistance. It's a good level up, but she needs speed. She badly needs speed. She she actually has an A rank. I wonder why. Maybe because she's a pre-promote and they have really good weapon ranks? Hmm. Difficult to know. Alright, so I think what I'll do is I'll actually trade Hawkeye Sword Reaver over. That is decent, because that means we can get a... Uh, ooh, a Brave Axe. Yeah, you know what? That sounds solid, actually. We do want Ronald to get some good weapons. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, equip a... If we stand here, the thief won't be able to... Uh, the thief won't be able to attack us from a forest tile, which is very beneficial to us. Alright, let's uh, dance for Bartra to get him into the action. Ba -da -da, da -da -da. Let's squap a vulnerary. Let's squap a vulnerary. Vulnerary. Alright, so. Oh, we can't actually buy anything right here. Um, we could send Wallace down to do some shopping. We could abuse this fort to get some easy healing. I don't know why I'm bringing Marcus, he probably won't be able to do much at the end of the day. Luis has no issues tanking this forge. I got my blonde babe. You're, uh, you're gonna become the MVP of this uh, LP, just like Lou did in both my Fire Emblem 6 runs. I know it, I know it. Alright. So, yeah, now this guy attacks. <laughs> He has nothing. Oh my god, Renault one shots him. Boom. <laughs> oh, arr. Alright. That should give Renault a level. Full level, even. That's pretty impressive. Hit points, speed. He leveled speed. And resistance. Renault's resistance growth is pretty decent, so he's gonna be a pretty decent tank. Oh wow. One damage. Yeah, boobs of steel right here. They're not boobs of steel. Louis' breasts are soft and bouncy. So I suppose we can just conclude that she has really hard nipples. So that that I would be fine with. So she, her nipples just deflect all the swords. They like jink. That that is a strangely arousing thought. Just Louise's iron nipples just deflecting swords. Yeah, I, I can definitely live with that. All right, let's uh, pull forth the fire tome because Louise is so hot. Get it? Yeah, she's just gonna roast them with her hotness. She shoots fireball at her tits. Alright, so, uh, we don't got many guys left right now. Uh, I suppose Renault can finish off these guys with the Umbrum Axe. Eh. There we go. And another level up for Renault, second one in a row. Hit points, strength, speed, he's level speed, oh, he's gonna be... I wonder who's gonna be the best Berserker, Renault or Hawkeye? I don't know, it depends on their level ups, I suppose. Oh, this is not gonna do it. We do need another hand axe. And uh, we need to go do some shopping with Wallace. I think uh, I should just get one of each item, to be quite honest. I could sell the perch tome. Uh, if it, no, I, I probably should not sell the perch tome. Let's see, let's buy an iron sword, an iron lance, and an iron bow. Just so we have iron weapons. And I'm just gonna position Marcus here, even though there's nothing much for him to do. I can't wait until I see the first Renault critical. You don't get to see the Brigand crit in Fire Emblem 7 all that much. Alright, there we go. So yeah, this was a pretty easy map, but then again, it is Elliewood. Hollywood mode. It's it's the easy route. Alright, let's just torch this guy. He'll die on the next retaliation strike. Will Luis get another level up? She will. She will get another level up indeed. It takes a while until you get your first guiding ring. I think you get it at the pirate ship level. So hopefully by then Luis will have uh, become a level 20 mage so she can promote. You do I'm not sure if you need to steal it in Hollywood's routes. I think I think you do need to steal it from the boss, so. Alright, Emblemax. Eh. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished up this chapter. Oh no, wait. <laughs> There's one more dude. 
Alright. Go get suicided on Luis. Mm, yeah. Fireball. Schmack. And with that, ladies and gentlemen. Aw, oh, she didn't get a final level up. I am sad. Ba -ba 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 so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Next up, oh, what characters do we get in the next chapter? We get Sarah, I think, and Matthew, and we also get Guy. So there's three new characters coming up in the next one. Oh, I can't wait to see who they are. Oh, randomizers are so much fun. I fucking love randomizers. All right, anyway, please consider leaving a like and a comment. It really helps out this channel a lot, don't you know? And as always, my name is Finn Mangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!